And starting today, more law enforcement will be out on the roads looking to identify and arrest drunk drivers. This is all part of TxDOT's Drink Sober, No Regrets campaign. CBS 7's Jensen Young joins us with more information on the campaign and how it relates to a new law that takes effect next month. Jensen, what can you... Yeah, as Labor Day comes closer and closer, TxDOT wants to crack down on drunk driving, saying that too many people die on roads each year because of impaired driving, especially around the holidays. Over the Labor Day weekend in 2022, there were 345 DUI alcohol-related crashes, resulting in 20 deaths. Instead of driving under the influence, there are several sober ride options available. Get a ride with a sober driver, call a taxi, use public transportation, or simply stay put until you sober up. If you choose to drink and drive, law enforcement across the state will be watching. We will pull you over and arrest you. The Drive Sober No Regrets campaign is part of the Greater End the Streak Texas, which encourages people to be smart behind the wheel and end the streak of a death every day on Texas roads. During a five-day stretch in August, TxDOT reported seven deaths on roads in the Permian Basin, and those August deaths are already outpacing those in July. Driving drunk could result in an accident that kills the driver and other people in the area. The night of June 22nd, 1985, my life was forever changed by the hands of a drunk driver. Erin Bowers lost her parents when she was just six months old to a drunk driver crash, and it has affected her life ever since. The day I got married and just wanted my father to walk me down the aisle, that didn't happen. Or the day I had my babies, and you know, you just want your mom by your side. And I didn't get that in life, all because one person made a choice to take that away from me and my family. The consequences go beyond changing or ending someone's life. Drivers arrested for DWI can also face up to $17,000 in fines and fees, jail time, and loss of their driver license. A new state law will take effect on September 1st that will require anyone convicted of intoxication manslaughter that kills a parent with, a young, ch with, with young children in a car crash to pay child support until that child turns 18 or graduates high school, whichever one comes later. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Jensen Young.